Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about this amazing update that just came out uh, with Thrivecart. And this is one that's been a long awaited uh, update that people have been asking for for a, quite a bit of time, a uh, long time. So what we're gonna talk about now is the multiple payment options inside of Thrivecart. So you can basically now have different options for payment methods on a single checkout page. Now, the way that looks basically is something like this. I'm just gonna show you right now. This is a very simple checkout page. This is just a test product. And this obviously has a lot of info that's uh, kind of lacking because of the test purpose of the product. But you can see this is a single checkout page and it has two options for payment. Now for this specific example, we have a one-time payment of $49. And then we also have a pay your own price. And basically anybody can um, you know, adjust this as they wish that way. Um, obviously the minimum for this one I put is 49. This is just a totally random example. Someone could put 60 if they wish. Uh, so that's the idea is you could do this for subscriptions. You have basically four different types of payments you can do different options to give people on a single checkout page. And this is amazing because it's it's great for people if uh, say for instance you have you want to do split pay options on a bigger uh, product. Maybe you sell a product for about $1,000, but you want to split payment that into three different payments of X amount. You can do that now and give them an option to either pay it at front, up front, or with the split payments. You can also do subscriptions differently. So maybe you have a recurring product that you, uh, that you charge for a monthly cost. Now you can give them an annual price at the same checkout page. So they have the option to you know, pay for a year in advance, for maybe a discounted rate of, I don't know, 30%, and an option to take you up on a monthly uh, offer as well. All done on a single checkout. Super, super cool. Let's get into actually how to do this in the back end of Thrivecart right now. So as I was saying, I'm just in a little test account right here, and we're gonna just take this test product. We've uh, created a lot of videos with this test product, uh, so you might be familiar. But what you can do is literally edit any existing products you currently have in Thrivecart, or you can set up a new product. We have other videos that show that. But we're just gonna, for this example, edit an existing product and go into the edit button. And basically what you want to get into is the payment feature here at the option. And you'll see some things have actually changed as well. So different ways, it's kind of a layout UI thing. User experience has changed slightly. So you can select whatever payment options you wanna give people, Stripe, Authorized Net, um, PayPal or, or Apple Pay. So that's pretty much the same. But the other thing, and this is what is new, and I'm actually just gonna delete these for now. Okay, so those are deleted. So initially, this is the page that it's gonna look like. It's gonna basically look like you only have a single price offer, which you're familiar with. The layouts kind of changed slightly, uh, but pretty much the same options. So what we're going to do now is do that little drop down. Basically, you saw me do it. Go to multiple payment options, and it's gonna give you this little box here. This is your um, place where you're going to fill in the different product price options that you wanna give people. Now, like I said before, you have up to four different ways to basically ask for a payment. So this little drop down shows you all four ways. You have the one-time fee, you have a subscription, you have a split pay, and then also the pay your own price. So I'm gonna start with, for this example, uh, simply just the one-time fee for $49, no trial, but you can make these a trial offer as well, which is really cool. But you're always gonna have this description right here that kind of sums up what you're trying to do. So right here, 49 bucks for one-time fee, cool. Next, and you can see, you can actually name this, so that was on the checkout page. You can see if we go over here, this uh, name here, you could change the, uh, the way that's displayed right here in this box. You can actually limit the quantity of each payment option that you give someone. So you can make it unlimited, or if you do have a, a, a physical limit or some kind of scarcity limit uh, to a product you're selling, you would enter that number in here for the quantity. We're just gonna keep it unlimited for now. And uh, you can also, basically you know have them purchase multiple things at once so this is that uh the multiple quantities update we talked about about a month ago uh, you can give the uh, people the ability to actually hit a number that says i don't want to just buy one 
thing, widget, gadget, product, whatever you're selling, but maybe they want to buy five. Maybe you're selling shirts or, or some kind of uh, product that they need multiple versions. Tickets to an event would be an option. Uh, that we're just going to leave at one time for now just to keep it simple in this example. But you can see how things would, can start. You can get a lot more creative now with Thrivecart and a single checkout page, which is really cool. So we're going to save this one. And you can see, boom, there's our one-time payment. But we can add another one. That's what's really cool. So let's call this a subscription for the next one. And we will do a, uh, let's do an annual payment of, uh, let's just say $100. Keeping it simple again. No trial for this one. And you can see you can, uh, you can have it a kind of an infinite number of rebills or you can customize the number. We're just gonna leave that all the same. You can see your description down here before you hit next. And again, we can, we can change that, uh, that description that you'll see on the checkout page, change the quantity if you wish, and we're just gonna click save. Cool, so now you can see how simple it is to literally set up your, uh, your different payment options right away. Now a really cool thing is, and you can see on this page, you actually have the ability to drag the order of your payment options. Very simply, that's done right here. Super cool, so maybe you wanna push people into the annual first, or at least present that first. That's exactly how you do it, but we're gonna go with the one time first. Uh, so that is, uh, so once you set everything up, this is kinda of where you manage that side to it all. Okay, so now what we can do is just initially save and get this URL just to see where we're at and how things look. And it's actually this same exact URL. I can just refresh the page. And boom, now this is what we're working with currently. So for a very simple setup, without any extra logic or things, rules and all that stuff, that's how you get a page up very quickly with Thrivecart. Um, you can see the one-time payment, simply one-time payment. It gives you the total on the right. Dynamically changes when you click the annual payment option. And you can see for the specific one, it's an annual one time. And then, you know, in a future payment, a year from now, it's another $100. So that's just for this example alone. Now, let's talk about the rules and different ways that you can specify what happens after someone purchases for a specific pricing option. This is where it gets really cool and you can create very smart processes, checkout processes and follow-ups based on what they have selected to purchase. So maybe it's a one-time subscription, an annual, uh, pay your own price for some some reason, whatever you're selling. Um, you can actually follow up with people in different ways. Now, the way you do that is you go to customers and you can basically start setting up rules just like you would set up a rule for a product. Normally, you would, you would add rule and you can see on top, you can select your autoresponders that you have integrated. Right now, we just have active campaign, but you can literally select different autoresponders if you wish, based on the different uh, payment option that they choose. So that's one really cool thing that Thrivecart now gives the ability to do. But for this example, you can see when your customer purchases the main product, we're gonna keep it with that. You can see there's a whole bunch of different options, but purchases via this, uh, you know, any pricing option. So that would be any of the two that you've already set. Or maybe you just wanna say, at one time payment option, add them to X specific list. Now for this example, we don't have any different lists selected, but you can see if, you know, if they're a one time payment customer, we can add them to a specific list inside of our active campaign or any other autoresponder that is uh, groupings for that. It tags them as such or moves them to a list. Uh, you can also create automations, uh, add them to an existing tag, a new tag, Anything like that you can do. Now, same with an annual. I think you get kind of the picture of what's going on. Uh, you can do all these different things, you know, based off of subscriptions, refunds, um, declined payments, things like that. All that stuff is super dynamic and you can basically dial it into any payment option you wish now. Very cool. I'll let your mind sit on that for a second because there's a lot to it. You can get very creative. Okay, two more things, actually three things I wanna show you. Uh, the, if you have affiliates uh, for your product, you can actually specify 
different commissions based off of which payment plan they sell or payment option they sell. So the way you do that, you're still under your product uh, menus here. Just click on that affiliate tab on the far right. And you do want affiliates to promote the, uh, the product. So if that's unchecked, just make sure that's checked. Go down here to the commissions tab. And you'll see right now it's set for all payment types to just get 50% payouts uh, if they make a purchase of your product. But what if we want to change that? We would just go down, drop down, different for each payment option. And you can see now we have a breakdown based off of which option uh, they sell as an affiliate. So maybe the one time we make a 50% percentage payment out, but maybe for the annual they get uh, maybe it's slightly less, maybe it's 40%, and uh, the recurring is 20%. Something like that, we can now specify based on those, um, those payment options. So we just save, and boom, now that's active for all of your approved affiliates. Super cool, huh? <laughs> okay, two more things now. Coupons. Coupons now can be completely customizable based on payment options. So. The way we do that is we always create coupons on the coupons tab and we can create a new coupon or we can actually edit one that's already existing. So we're just going to click this right here, this little edit button. And now we can see under the usage tab on top, or sorry, excuse me, products tab, you can see right now we have it selected for this product we created called the perfect checkout. Now for this example, let's say, you know, in, in the product we're, we're dealing with right now is test product. We click that box and boom, now we could see the two different payment options that we have created under that test product. So let's just say um, coupons can only be redeemed for the annual option. That's how we would do that. So if someone had this coupon, depending on which style or which uh, payment option they chose, that coupon would only be applied to that payment option. So again, this is very cool. You can, uh, you can, specify for the payment option, you can always have coupons uh, distributed out to affiliates. That's another thing. And obviously people get tracked for their commissions based on coupons. You can see we're getting like kind of meta now. Uh, you know, it's going deep and deep in different layers. Uh, again, a lot of creativity and power behind Thrivecart. Okay, so coupons are done. You can specify which payment options with coupons. Last thing. Uh, you're not going to be able to actually see that here because we don't have any live uh, data, data going through the test product, but we can now go under the stats. And as you see in here, this is test product for all pricing options, and you could kind of dial in the different stats. But uh, you could see now you can actually specify which payment option or uh, pricing option you want to get some stats for. So maybe it's the one time you want to dig in there and see what your revenue is, the commissions, refund amount, um, all the different, you know, the traffic things, uh, metrics you have here, conversion rates. You can start to learn which payment options is now um, is, is performing better for you or performing worse. And maybe you want to make some tweaks on the price. Maybe it's the adjustment, the order in which they're displayed on your checkout page. You know, maybe those need to swap out. Uh, anything like that, this is where you're going to get those detailed stats from now. And it's really cool. Uh, Thrivecart has basically been kind of up in the stat game. And I know there's more to come. And you know, we spoke to the uh, the team over there at Thrivecart. Uh, but that's it. I mean, there's so much. I'm kind of out of breath here because it's amazing. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. Uh, the key takeaways, I'm just going to recap very quickly, is that you have up to four different payment options. You can drag the order. You can also set quantities to uh, which each one of those, each payment option, uh, based on whatever you uh, create those as. You can set rules and change different autoresponders, tags, follow-up messages, things like that, based on what people purchase. And uh, there's a whole variety of ways that you can set commissions for your affiliates. On the back end, you can create coupons. And then also you have all those cool detailed stats once you start running some traffic through your, uh, your checkout page. That's it. I'm going to leave you there. Uh, if you don't have Thrivecart yet, definitely grab it. Um, it's a no-brainer. This is the best uh, platform, checkout platform on the market. It's obviously the most robust and dynamic. Uh, the price is right. You're always going to get the cheapest, best deal through getthrivecart.com. 
definitely go sign up. You're going to get a whole load of bonuses and all that stuff as well to get you started fast. And if you already do have Thrivecart, don't wait any longer. Go log into your account. You're going to see some things have changed, uh, not only with this, but like I said, with the UI. There's a lot of cool updates that the Thrivecart team is doing constantly every single day. There's also big stuff to come. They move fast. They're amazing. And uh, you're going to make a lot of money with Thrivecart. That is for sure. So let us know if you have any questions. We're around at any time. But go get it. GetThriveCart.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.